Okay, today video is about uh, ten cents and Adam Koo's video and all that stuff, lah. Okay. So I'm a bit surprised Adam Koo actually gave up so fast on all the Chinese stocks, and I think that's because he held it for quite long already, and it's not yielding him any results, lah. So. For China stocks, you got to hold it in at least 10 years, lah, I would say. Not 5 years, but 10 years, bro. Okay. So, regarding the valuations, uh, is it that bad or not? So, everybody is asking that same question over and over again. Uh. Is it that bad? Is it that bad? Is it that bad? Is it that bad? Okay. So, we got to look at the stuff that's going on here. Okay. And let me tell you, uh, uh, I do the growth uh, on the net profit, okay, and uh, operating profit actually grew by about uh, 41%. Lah. Okay, then you say, but it's minus 6% here. Oh, because I negated out these other gains and other losses, they have to be taken out. You don't experience this kind of gains every quarter. You don't experience kind of gains every that one. So if you take out the other gains and all that, uh, you realize that the previous uh, year, uh, third quarter wasn't that amazing. Uh. So they actually grew 41%. And if you were to take this one, right, and then you normalize again, it's going to be what, 70 plus percent. Uh, which is a bit too extreme in my honest opinion. So I'm just going to take the lower 41% as my bench. Okay, as my bench. So, what kind of PE uh, would you expect for a company that can grow forty one percent year on year? Right. So, if if Peter Lynch he wants, uh, for every percent of growth, okay, he will take. Let's say the thing is growing twenty percent, then he will just oh. I'm willing to pay 20 PE, right? It's called the PEG, okay? For Adam, Adam is a bit different. Okay, Adam is a bit different. He takes the PE, right? And then he divides it by 1.5. And then he thinks that is the growth rate that he can achieve. Right, so PE divided by 1.5. And he wants that growth rate. So basically, <coughs> to get the PE that for Adam, for a 41% grower, you multiply it by 1.5. 61.5. Okay. I'm serious. This is what Adam is willing to pay if the company keeps growing like, 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 like that. Okay, so we have to see. Oh, but then you will say, but this is only one good quarter. Will it translate to the next quarters? So that's a very fair question. That's why we, we, we actually got to look at the, the annual. Then we see the growth of the operating income. Right. So, yes, actually there is some anomaly here because uh, the growth is good. It has been good when there was no crackdowns. But when there are crackdowns and things bad things happening, the growth is actually went down uh, for the past two years. So this is due to the crackdowns. Okay. So basically, the crackdowns they decrease income because they are not able to release games. They are not able to do this. They are not able to do that. Okay. So now games seems to be like the secret industry in the US. They seems to be blamed for every nonsense problem that they have, uh. Right, so they think, ah, too many games, too many games, too many games, right? So, the question is very simple. Is, will they be able to achieve oh, the same operating profit as, as are they going to be able to achieve the growth or not? So, that question is being asked now, right? Is being asked now. So, looking at the trend that has happened so far, you actually the crackdowns reduce the operating income of 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 10 cents right this is pretty obvious right this is not rocket science okay 
And look at this. Suddenly, it, it, it just explodes, right? The, the number, they just explode. That's crazy, man. Think about it that way. Uh. You just explode the number. And why is this 100? This is a wrong number, I think. This is the wrong number. Huh? Because they take from the that one, uh, sometimes it's wrong. Uh. But either way, you see this operating income, if we were to say that 40, 40, 40, 120, it's going to be 168, which is a massive increase uh, from 87, 89. Okay, what does that mean? Wow, that means the profits are nuts. Uh. The, the massive uh, increase in the profits, 48, 40, 40. Oh, it's crazy, man. Okay, so the growth is there. Uh. So this company has a lot of mode, but the question is, is it allowed to continue that growth or not? Is it allowed or not? Now, looking at how the things are going, uh, I don't think they are allowed to. Uh, okay, so I think their massive profit gain caught attention of the regulators. Uh. Wow, this one, they earn too much money here, uh, right? We must regulate this. So that is one possibility, uh, okay? They grow so much, they grow so fast. So I believe there is this pervasive fear on the government. If a company grows too fast, okay, it may be too powerful. Why? Look at Alibaba. Look at Ant, right? Ant was able to persuade the state banks, you know, to lend money to the people he introduced without any collateral, right? So Alibaba actually has some political power. Right, but it doesn't have the total. The, 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 there's no central power. Only the state, la, I think. State, state below and below, they got power. So what does that mean? Uh? Any ideas no, that you can understand that you can talk about? Okay. What does that mean? I mean, I mean, what I'm asking is very, very, very common one. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? It's not that I'm trying to piss you off or something. Right, I'm just trying to ask you, hey. What do you think, right? In other words, uh, if, the, if you grow too fast uh, and you become too big and powerful, uh, the government will most likely find excuses to clamp you down. Okay? They're going to find excuses to clamp down on you. Because they don't want you to grow too big. Because the, the bigger you are, the more power you have. The more money you have. The more connections you have. The more... Uh, you you know what I mean, lah, basically. Right? You can just tell the government, hey, if you don't do this, uh, wah, lau. if you attack me, uh, wah, if, if the, I cannot affect the employees, wah, imagine how many people cannot be affected by, by government decisions, stuff like that. Lah, you know, they can just use their massive power to, to oppress the government. Right? I think the government is scared of that. You know? okay? So in looking at this, right, looking at the growth, where the operating income uh, is, is supposed to be very low, and suddenly explodes, uh, oh my god, of course the government is going to be very alarmed. Uh. I mean, I would be alarmed. What about you, right? I don't think this, I think it's about 40, uh, this one, I think maybe 40, maybe 40 or 35. Uh. So 35 plus 40 plus 40 plus 48, maybe 163. Uh. But you compare to, the, to, the, to, to the, that one, look at the number, 163, bro. This is a 87. It's a 100% grower. Right. So it was an amazing quarter. This was an amazing quarter. And I don't know what to say. <laughs> I really, really don't know what to say. Because I think it's an amazing quarter. I don't understand. I, I really don't understand wh why, why, why they cannot crack down until so much. Right. Okay. But maybe it's because uh, they grow too fast. Uh. Right? And I think Adam Ku also knows this. That's why he said that. He talks about a cap on the growth. Uh, a cap on the growth. There's a cap on the growth. Okay? So, yeah. So, Daniel Chang's idea, I think, of divestment. Uh, and he purposely 
uh, hide under a rock uh, turtle mode uh, for the past two years or three years right i think it's on purpose one uh. you don't want to grow too fast and then you know the government's eye will look at you and like hey this guy is going too fast let's 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 whack him down so i think that's what's happening uh. okay so if that's the case uh, there is no investment thesis for all because the moment you grow the moment you show your, your your growth and all that number wonderful results you are going to get suppressed by the government okay that is one theory one aspect lah, not theory hypothesis lah. okay but either way uh, what i'm gonna tell you is okay when we look at the numbers we dis we, we see that eh the operating income right and all this this is a good business but if it gets cracked down it's going to suffer that's it there's nothing else to say about this business right of 10 cents business okay but the moment is not cracked down it improves greatly like it exceeds all the down years so what does that mean oh this is a wonderful business wonderful business looking at the growth 41 percent there's there is no way man there's no way uh. <laughs> there's no bloody fucking way right that that you know what i mean uh, right you're on their 40 41 percent growth there's just, it's just too powerful uh, uh, looking at the quarter on quarter now i mean year on year result the that quarter year on year looking at this alone uh, 163 the earnings are going to be explosive for 2023 okay it's going to exceed the past three years uh, four years even uh, right but the question again right like what we say like adam say hey is this a political problem where whenever this company tries to grow it's going to get suppressed by the government and i don't know Right, that one is you have to decide for yourself. I cannot teach you, lo. Right, I cannot teach you about the the the, the thing, la. Right, I cannot teach you about 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 all these stuff. So this is all your decision, okay? But I can tell you, right, based on Adam Koo, if this one they really grow forty one, ah. Okay, it should be valued at sixty PE, right? Sixty PE. Okay, but for for that sake lah of the thing uh, let's say, eh, it's not fair, you know, because these two years they are stagnating. Okay, let's just take from here lah, uh, one three three lah. So one six three minus one three three, divide by one three three. Okay. So it's a 22.5 percent, right? So 22.5 percent grower, right? We multiply by maybe uh, uh 1.5, right? It should be priced at 30, 34 PE. Now it's only priced at 13 PE. Okay, so you have a lot of space, lah. Huh? You do have a lot of space, lah. You do have a lot of space for the uh, for the there's a lot of margin of safety lah, okay. But then you notice that no matter what kind of margin of safety you have, what if it doesn't grow anymore? I don't know, right? So this is I really cannot answer though. There's too many factors that is inside the thing that I don't know how to answer. I don't even know how to how to how to do the, all the stuff lah. I, I see it like wow this is a you cannot use this is one of those things you cannot use uh evaluation ma because later oh I use just now I use this much I use this much but later the government quash it again the government quash it again using uh regulation 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 again we will we won't be able to 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 do the stuff right that we need to okay so right now all we need to do is we we know that hey this is a good business right with good multiple with good value that is supposed to be valued at about 33.75 
right? And we try to we even we should give it a discount, the China discount. We give it a China discount of fifty percent, fifty percent, bro, right? So the PE should be seventeen. It is trading at the the thirteen PE. It is still too cheap. You all understand, not? Okay, but of course, all these things they are useless if there's gonna be a crackdown every time it grows. There's gonna be a crackdown every time it grows. It's gonna be useless because if the moment you crack down, the revenue will come down. For example, okay, this is a simple example for you all to to think. Uh, do you think that after the crackdown and all these rules are come into place, ah, uh, how many of you think that the revenues for the domestic gaming won't drop? Okay. If you all do think that the domestic revenue won't drop, that means you are a bit too optimistic, lah. I think it will drop, lah. Don't don't say it won't drop, lah. Right. The moment you say no, it won't drop, then I was like, huh. A bit blurry, because in my in my I think the domestic games is gonna drop at least fifty percent lah. That means you're gonna shave off, yeah. You're gonna shave off quite a decent number. I don't know the margins though for the gaming department only. Okay. You're gonna shave off a a a very high percentage lah of that lah. Okay. So do I like what is going on now? Not, not really. Who likes it as a investor? Okay. So now, towards the future, all you got to think of is what is going to be regulated next. Is it social networks? Is it fintech? The BNPL part of fintech, right? Uh, either this or this or this lah. Only on, only three left, right? I don't think online advertising they are going to crack down lah. I I kind of doubt it lah. Right, if they crack down social networks, I don't know whether it's gonna. I think it's gonna affect the advertising because they they kind of link, right? So although this one only minus zero point four percent, but then this twenty percent will get affected. So it's it's link lah the the social and that one. We don't know how correlated they are. Right, the fintech is it possible that it's going to get crack down? Yeah, possible only on the BNPL side, but I I I I generally don't think it's the. They might lah. They might if they think that uh, they are taking uh, becoming like a loan shark like that. They might they might intervene lah. This one domestic game surely decrease. Lah, I think. I saw the thing. They are gonna ask for ID and they're gonna track how long you play. So later they know every citizen lah. Ah Miao, he play game nine hours a day. Ah Chu. Play game twenty hours a a day, and spend like so much so on the game, on every game. Then they know the army how spend how much, how long down there. What is the what are they going to do after this? They're going to say that they're going to tell the citizen, because this guy is so lazy. The whole day spent playing game. I think we should give him a lower social credit score. Wallande. Do you know how crazy that will be, not? The drop on this ah is gonna be massive, man. It can even go to drop by fifty or seventy percent, you know. The moment they say that, oh, I'm going to monitor you. Not only that, ah, I'm going to, uh, take my results and link it to the social credit score. Because if you keep playing the game all the way, ah, you got no social credit, ma. You lousy, what? That means you're you're not productive, lah. You know what I mean or not, right? I hope you understand what I mean, ah. Okay. Then you're gonna ask me. You sure not? That's possible, not. Then I I ask you back, ah. Very simple question. Do you think that policy is good, right? Isn't it good? Because you all you you all ah in the in the in the in the Master Liang show Master Liang ah podcast always say yeah, but that 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 rule is good, leh. Right? Isn't it supposed to be good for the society? Then I reverse back the thing to you, right? 
I reverse the question to you. What if they do that? Then you ask me, I, I won't, they won't do that. La. That's too pervasive, la, blah, blah, blah. But it's good for the society. Uh. Right? It's good for the society. What? Think about it. You prevent the guy uh, from playing game. Then the guy won't play game anymore. He won't spend ma- a lot of money on games. Then won't spend time on game. Isn't that good for the society? Uh, you, 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 you don't only one side. Then you, you say like, oh, isn't that good for the society? Then I reverse the thing to you. Uh, you won't say, ah, yeah, they won't do that. Uh. That means you, you, that means you are very egoistic. Ma, if you say like that, you only take your own idea, but my own idea, right? You won't take it. Right? You won't, you don't want to, to, to use, ah, yeah, I don't think they will do that. Uh. Right? But again, I repeat, hey, you say they won't do that. They're already asking for ID to play. They already want to limit the amount of money you spend on every game, every month. There's going to be a cap on every person. That's number one. Number two, there's also going to be, a, a, they're going to monitor your 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 playing time. Right? Your play time is very important. That's why I think the government is now uh, looking at the whole spectrum. That's why no sign-in bonus. No, uh, no, all these uh, bonus to sign up. No buy-in bonus and all that stuff, lah. Right? Even the streamers, uh, the gaming streamers, uh, they are also making some rules on it. They talk about the gaming streamers. They say uh, the ang pao cannot be too big. Okay. So what is there? Okay, what is there? Okay, I ask you all, uh, to prevent the government from coming out the rules say that. Yeah, uh, we think that we are going to monitor not only your uh, gaming expenditure and gaming time. We think that we it is right, uh, it is correct for us to look at the social credit score also. Because if you are not, if you are playing game all the time, you are not productive. Li. Right. You are not productive. Then, like that, for what uh, use you... you, you you're not produ- you're not productive. Like. You keep playing game, you waste money. You keep playing game. You're not productive for the country. You should have a lower social credit standing. Right? Correct what? Credit score is based on your job, what? You got work or not? Right? Correct what? Same thing. What? This guy keep playing game, keep spending money, waste time on the thing. He is uh, engaging in this reckless behavior. So he should have a re- lower credit score, what? To- Theoretically, it fits. Okay. What if it's linked to the to, to that to that to that credit score even, right? And also, uh, as it's also linked to the social credit score. Have you all ever thought of that? Not. And please don't say they won't do that, because I will gonna go back to you. Yeah, but you think about it, huh, guys? Don't you think this is a good? Uh, you, you, you don't think? Don't you think this is a good rule to to to, to enact? To, to tell people like that, right? Then later, they're they going to stop playing game. Leh. They're going to be more productive. Leh. It's good, what? It's good for society, what? Then you say, no, lah, they won't do that. Lah. I fuck you all, lah, I tell you. You only take your own side. The moment you say, the moment you say, hey, this rule, this is good for the society leh, and all that. Leh. Then the moment I show you one side, the other side of the thing, ah, that is also possible, that is also good for the society because you are preventing them from uh, wasting time in games, you are preventing them from spending money in games. That is quite useless, in my honest opinion, right? Okay. That surely, uh, all those guys are uh, straight away stop playing game because they don't want a lower credit score. They know, ah, why that bad? Uh, if I play playing, uh, my social credit score is going to be affected. And then my credit score also going to be affected. I better not play. Ah. Uh. Uh, well, that's too extreme, leh. Goro, uh. I don't think they will do that. Hey, but that's good, what? Uh. It's good for the country, what? Uh. It's good for the society, what? Uh. What are you talking about? Like, last time I say, I argue with you, you say like that. It's good for the society, what? Uh. It's good for the society, what? Uh. That's your answer. Then I repeat this thing back at you all. It's good for the society. Okay? You want to argue back on me, uh. If you argue back to me, uh, I will say that, ah, uh, you, you just want to win, uh. You say whatever you want, uh. Right? I give you this argument is very simple, ma. It's good for the society, what? I'm just using your argument against you, bro. Right? It's good for the society, what? Right? Let's think about this way. Do whatever that's good for the society. Keep doing it, lah. Okay? It's good for the society, what? Let's ban cigarettes, ah. Good for the society, what? Ban kuei chao mo tai. Good for the society, what? 
Eh, Macau ah, shouldn't be have gambling ah. Gambling is bad. Close Macau down ah. Cannot have the, the Las Vegas and all that. Close all the gambling down ah. Oh, yeah, they won't do that lah. Then you go for the society what? Ah. Because you all keep doing the thing to me, you know. That's why I was like, eh, but this is good for the society what? This is good for the society what? Then I was like, okay lah. If you think that way, okay, go for the society. Okay. Okay. But what if they do this? Then you say they won't do that lah. Then I was like, oh. Eh, hey, it's good for the society le. Isn't that what you all always say? It's good for the society le. The rules are good for the society le. Right? So, my advice to you all uh, is very simple. Right? We cannot forget that we are investors, you know. We are not the government. Right? We are not the government. We are not the citizens. Okay? We are investors. We want to make a quick buck. And for that quick buck, we need the value. And you see that the government has the ability to affect the value, the future value of the business. Okay? And they have, and like I said, the best reason they can give, they can say that it's good for the society, what? Right? It's good for the society. Right? Okay? It's good for the society. They just gonna come up with the excuse that everybody will be like, yeah, okay, 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 good, yeah. But you as investors have the choice, right? You have the choice, you can look at this and you have the choice to determine, to analyze. Is this behavior going to continue? What are they going to attack next, right? Okay. What are they going to attack next? I don't know. I'm not the government, right? But you all say they're going to attack streaming. But I think most likely they're going to if you, they, if they have the statistics la, they have the data so you all must find out what are the young people in the China spend their, most of their time on games games cannot work already social media is going to cannot work I'm not joking ah. then the next one is probably short form uh, video because short form video is stupid it doesn't teach you anything the content is very dumb right Short form video is the worst kind of entertainment ever, I would say. Okay, but for the brain, it's very interesting because you come up with something new, always something new. Okay, but then longer video, you must focus. You need to focus, and you need to do a lot of uh, focusing, lah. That's why people don't like to watch long, long, long videos. Okay, so this one, I'm going to return the question to you, lah. I'm going to say that, yes. 10 cents is undervalued, right? 10 cents, even get a 50% margin of safety, is supposed to be trading at 17. Okay, but now I'm going to return the question to you, right? Uh, this is your own decision. We cannot do anything, right? Okay, we cannot do anything. I cannot say anything uh, like one. But then I think that the value is a bit lower than what it seems, lah. Just, just, just telling you lah, right? And that's based on a uh, growth from uh, uh, from just now the two thousand uh, twenty until now the growth. That's the growth rate lah, because if I use the annualized growth rate, it's gonna be very high. Okay, now I'm, this is already a discounted discounted value of ten cents, so I discount using the two thousand twenty the highest operating income that you achieved before. And then I discount it again by 50%. Okay. Right. I discount it by 50%. Yeah, so I, I, I believe uh, this is what I believe. Uh, I, 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 I really think that it should be that way. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, some of you all may think not. Uh, okay. And this one... Uh, yeah, 1.5 lah, right? 1.5 lah. We are willing to pay uh, 1.5 PE for every growth lah, for every percentage of growth. So this is a really discounted and discounted value, okay? Why I never use this one? I also think it's unfair lah, because it's a bit too low lah, because if I use that, then it's a bit too high, okay? I think I'm going to take the 200, 2020 numbers. So am I selling 10 cents or not? For me. Uh. 
No lah, I'm not going to sell 10 cents. Ah. I, I look at the value. I give it a discounted, a double discounted value and I still T17. Right? I'm going to write it out. Okay? I'm going to write it out. And... I'm going to write it out. Lah, because I think that... Uh, the government will face some backlash due to this because it's going to affect the all the all the stock all the Hong Kong stock index prices. Uh. Then they have to do something about it. Maybe they will buy it or something lah. They will pump the thing up, and then later there's going to be a rebound. And if the PE of the ten cents they actually go up to seventeen, I'm going to sell. I will consider this a discounted discounted value. Okay. Double discount value. Double discount value, you know. Double. Yeah. That's it for today. Thank you very much for your time. I'm sorry the previous video didn't have audio. Uh. Okay. And I'm again, I apologize uh, if this may sound like a bit too... Uh, patronizing or I sound a bit too how to 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 cocky or like that lah. and I don't really mean I, I don't really mean to to incite anything fear or anything lah. okay Baba video is gonna come next this one is just for C, uh, 10 cents okay so these all these uh, is based on PEG lah, price earnings growth ratio you all take a look at it. Uh.